Hi guys and welcome to another FIFA 21 video. It is Sunday at 6pm and we are back with some more Festival of Football content. Another nation player, this one just a singular one. Artur, 93 rated. He hasn't really had much in terms of special cards at all this year, has he, for his first season at Juve? And um, I don't know if I'll complete this SBC. I might do depending on what he requires because I kind of, I want to kind of go back now to the start of the game. It's like when I was putting together like a full Brazilian team. I kind of maybe like to go back to that. Also, I don't really want to go into my club too much because I would kind of, as soon as the 6 p.m. content came through, I was halfway through doing an icon roulette video uh, from one of my icon swaps packs. So I got myself a guaranteed icon moments, uh, 92 plus pack coming in. So I'm down to the final few major nations like Argentina, France, Brazil, Germany, stuff like that. So I don't want to go into my club with this one and start like completing the SBC or start looking at like other comparisons of players just because I don't want to ruin it for myself and I don't want to ruin that video that will come later on tonight. So um, I might not go in depth into comparing him with other players too much in this video. So hopefully you guys do understand that. But anyway, 93 rated Artur. Uh, of course, Brazil are doing fantastic so far in the Copper America winning all their opening three matches. So he's been given a very, I believe that's a nine rating increase. I think he has an 84 rated base card and, and nothing else uh, as far as I'm aware. So we'll have a look at what he requires and then we'll have a look at his in-game stats. So AC3 rated and 86 rated and low chemistry on the 86 rated squad. Do you know what? That's not too bad at all. Although I haven't said that. Um, AC3s to 87s. So between an AC3 to like an 87 rated card. They've gone up a lot recently in the past few days. Like that Edo SBC yesterday was a lot more expensive than what I thought it was going to be. I went onto Footbin later on and I checked. Like I thought the SBC would have cost like maximum 50,000. It cost double that because AC3s, AC4s, 85s have just skyrocketed in, uh, skyrocketed in price. But that is not too bad at all. Now, what are his in game stats? Four star skin was as nice. Three star weak foot's a bit, you know, even for a box of box and fit, it's a bit meh. You, you could play him as a cam, but obviously that freestyle weak foot's going to kind of be a bit annoying. Um, his pace is nice. His shooting, certainly from distance, 94 shot power and 92 long shots is going to be great on the edge of the box. Uh, passing is fantastic. Dribbling is is very good aside from agility. That's got to be better with agility. Um, certainly if you want to play him as a cam. I suppose using him as a centre mid, it's fine because, you know, his, his ball control, in-game dribbling, uh, balance is already insane. But if you want to use him as a cam, his agility has got to be much better than that, in my opinion. Defensive stats are very, very good. And physicality stats are also very respectable. Player traits, nothing too much going on there. I think if you're going to do this card personally, he, he has to be, uh, he's best suited to being used in the role that you would get him as, as a centre midfielder in that box-to-box -box role. He's got um, nice attacking stats for the most part, and he's got nice defensive stats as well. Like, look at his, you know, tackling stats, his defensive ones, it's very, very good. It's a good card, you know. It, 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 in fact, it's, it's a very, very good card. And I think for what he requires, I think it's a very well-priced SBC. I think, um... Yeah, I, I think that's very, very good indeed. Like, I, I, I think that is a really, really good card. Now, I just want to make sure... I kind of want to compare him to other players in this game, but I don't want to ruin it for myself, seeing what Icon Moments card I've got. So I can't really look too much more into it, apart from saying that it's, it, you know, it's a card that has... I mean, how much is he going to come in at, roughly? So no team of the week or team of the season is required, which is good. So already that's going to help. You purely just need... Uh, you know, golds effectively in there. So the AC3 red score will probably coming at around 40,000. I reckon this car will come in at around 200,000 to 250,000. Um, and if he was on the market, a Brazilian from 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 Syria, he, he would be going for. I reckon if this car was on the market, he's selling for 250, 300,000 coins. I might be wrong. In that, but because of the links that he provides, um, that's what I think. We've been given, I think it's a very, very good SBC, put it that way. It's a very, very good card that I might potentially free. Is that, is that new icons? Yashin? Is he new? Is Carlos Alberto? No, Carlos Alberto was already there previously, wasn't I'm pretty certain. I don't think they are new icon species. Uh, and another team with the season up have to glory player pick. This one, uh, you get players from Brazil, Argentina, or England. Was it the same last time or was it different nations? I feel like last time it was Germany, Portugal, and France, wasn't it? So that's pretty good. What does that require? 
85 right like last time you yeah, have a team with a good team this season very low chemistry which is obviously very good so that's a pretty good SPC to get involved in so yeah um I very much like this SPC I'm not too sure whether I'll do a review on him or not I might do but it's not 100% guaranteed I'll have to wait and see but uh, on the whole very very good cards fantastic stats and I think to be fair EA have priced them pretty well like yeah, especially if you can get this card if this SPC costs anything under 250,000 uh, I, I, or, or under 200,000, I think, um, you know, depending on what the market's like currently, I, I, I think that's very, very well priced by EA, and, and a very nice boost to his, uh, to his current card, because now we're finally getting ourselves a usable R Tour card for the first time since, what, like, Christmas time, was probably the last time his 84 card was considered probably relatively usable in online matches, so, uh, so yeah, big fan of that SBC, but anyway guys, that will finish off this video, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.